Our final roaster tonight has a one-woman show about divorce, dieting, and dating black people by choice, not because she has to, because she's fat. It is called, I would rather suck my grandfather's balls than watch it. She is the reason why Italian men beat their wives. Please welcome Lisa Lampanelli. Come on, let him hear it. Clap for Jimmy. Come on, nobody watches that piece of crap show. A horse shitting on a parade route has a bigger following than Jimmy Kimmel. Hitler got more laughs than Jimmy Kimmel. And he did it without Jewish writers. Tom Cruise watched it and went on antidepressants. What a dais we have tonight, folks. We've got a drag queen, a pervert, and a drug addict. And I'm only talking about Andy Dick. Mm. Andy Dick, what a fruity bastard. I'm not saying Andy Dick is gay, but I will say he's been known to guess the flavor of a popsicle just by sitting on it. But don't get me wrong, I love gay guys. If it wasn't for these fags, us fat chicks would have no friends. But enough about that pickle kisser. Tequila, tequila. And Courtney Love. What a legend. I love Courtney. Courtney Love's band was called Whole. Whole. Not whole as in complete, but whole as in dirty, stinky... What a whore Courtney is. She would suck a d for a diet. Bleep that out on everything. <laughs> Don't worry, honey. I do it just for the taste of it. I see Eddie Griffin is here tonight. I don't know much about you, Eddie, but I do know I love your brothers, Damon and Marlon. <laughs> wow. Bah. But you know me, Eddie, I love the black men. I'm a white girl with a big ass. I've had more black in me than a urinal at the Apollo. <laughs> I've banged so many black guys, I'm getting ashy. Yeah! Yeah, that's good. Eddie Griffin and Dennis Rodman, the only two blacks on the dais. I understand why Comedy Central only had two of you here. Anymore and there'd be a shooting. But enough about the coloreds. Whoa! Wow. Whoa. We're here tonight to celebrate the career of the most famous woman in the world, Pamela Anderson. Pam Anderson is a legend. She has dated Scott Baio, the singer from Poison, and the drummer from Motley Crue. Her life story should be a show on VH1 called I the 80s. Yeah. Scott Baio. Pam, you are all woman, but how did you physically have sex with Tommy Lee? He has a huge slong. If he put that thing in front of my face, I wouldn't know whether I should suck it or feed it a peanut. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna be honest, I'm sitting up here tonight and I'm not comfortable with all these people taking shots at Pam Anderson. We on this dais are no one to make fun of this woman. I ask you, can any of you done what she's done? No! <laughs> Would Bay Watch have been number one? If it were Jimmy Kimmel's boobs jiggling in slow motion? <laughs> no. Jimmy can't get anyone to watch his show now and they jiggle at regular speed. <sighs> Could Adam Carolla have made David Hasselhoff rich just by wearing a bathing suit? Of course not. No one wants to see his furry nutsack in a Speedo. <laughs> It would look like a squirrel fighting its way out of a Crown Royal bag. Oh my God! <laughs> oh my God. 
I'm not done. And that sex video, no one on this dais could have done that. If Andy Dick would have blown Tommy Lee on screen, would it have made millions? No. Andy Dick has blown thousands of men, and he hasn't even made enough money to pay for his vagina surgery. Oh. 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 Oh my God. <laughs> but all jokes aside, Pam, seriously, I'd like to thank you for giving me the opportunity to make fun of you tonight. I think the reason the world loves you so much is that you're beautiful and famous, yet you still treat everyone you meet with kindness and respect. As a woman not nearly as famous or as beautiful, let me say from the bottom of my heart, knock it off, bitch, you're making me look like a foul mouth. <laughs> Thank you, guys. She was good. Yes. She was. Mm -hmm. Okay, first of all, I want to thank Jimmy Kimmel for hosting. He's been great. Yes, he's been so great. But, but then again, as a member of PETA, I love anything with beady eyes that can be trained to shit in a box. <laughs> as you can imagine, it's been very uncomfortable up here for me, at least these last 90 minutes, because this is actually the longest I've ever been in clothes. <laughs> There's been a lot of talk about all the guys I've had sex with, a lot of whom couldn't be here tonight because the Staples Center wasn't available. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank Jimmy, Adam, Greg, Nick, Andy, and everyone else in the room that Sarah Silverman has. <laughs> Eddie Griffin, I would love to have thanked you too, but I'm told Sarah only blew you. I guess that last commercial break was shorter than she expected. <laughs> Funny stuff. Okay, Lady Bunny, I always knew you were crazy, but in that skirt, I can clearly see your nuts. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't believe my friend Courtney Love is here doing stand-up comedy. This is great. I mean, I knew she could do comedy. I just didn't know she could stand up. Mm. Woo! Woo! She left the I mean, she and I have been friends for years. She remembers one of them. Oh my God. Actually, Nick Tipolo came up to me backstage and told me he was a huge Hole fan. So I introduced him to Lisa Lampanelli. Ah. <laughs> you go, girl. I'm, yeah, yeah, you go, girl. Okay. Andy, I want to thank you for your hilarious doctor sketch. I know how nauseous it makes you to touch a woman. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, you know what? I forgot. Greg Giraldo. But so have the rest of you. Oh. <laughs> Is this my shirt see-through? Darn it. Oh, oh damn! <laughs> Not again. Underdressed again. <laughs> okay. If I just do this, okay, no one will tell. Oh boy. B, I want to thank you for reading my book. My publicist was right. It does sound much sexier in a man's voice. Oh, oh my boobs are so out there. Sorry. Thank God this is Comedy Central. Yeah, that's a, yeah, that's all right. It's okay. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah. And yes, yeah, okay, we've all, okay, yes, we have all heard all night how Tommy's well endowed, but he's also very charming. Yes, Tommy, I remember when we met, you had the best pickup line. You said, I'm very well endowed and charming. <laughs> I remember the first time I saw Tommy's penis, I was speechless <laughs> until my throat healed. Tommy, you and I were together for three years, and through it all, I can honestly say those were the happiest years of your life. <laughs> okay, I've had a great time tonight, but I have to say the reason I went through this was to benefit the PETA organization. I want to thank them for all their incredible work, and I want to thank everyone here tonight. And none of this would have been possible without my two dear friends, Poncho and Lefty. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Thanks. Oh, my oh. Let's, um, let's jump now. Come here. Clap, clap. Give him a clap. Give him a clap. Give him a clap. I like it. I want to thank everyone for coming tonight. Call the police. Call the police.
<laughs> that was different from the Bieber Rose. And the Courtney Love. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I guess that's Courtney Love. You can see a difference 10 years can make. Yeah. 2005, 2015. 15, yeah. yeah. Uh, the Rose. Uh, that was a mess. She was a mess on she stage. She literally got up, tripped, took her shoes off, threw her <laughs> shoes, smoking. Makeup, yeah. What a mess. Nobody was there to stop her. Don't know why. <laughs> I feel like somebody should have stepped in, but I guess that's... It was more of, like, about uh, her. I know. Than Pamela. Courtney, yeah. Andy. That's it, but it seemed like they, they went on her more than they did Pamela. And and, and uh, Tommy's thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We feel like it's the roast of Courtney Love. Oh my God! <laughs> As that's viewers, true. that's what you can't help but notice, right? Yeah. She, she was, she was a mess. A fucking is, mess. This is interesting. <laughs> Definitely, it, again. It's I, different. No, right? no, different I time. As I say, yeah, time capsule. It's, yeah, it's yeah. a decade difference from the last roast we did. But mm -hmm. Lisa Lampanelli, I felt stole the show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Sarah, Sarah Silverman and that Paris Hilton joke is really oh, good. Oh, you like that, that one? Good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I actually like the stuff Pamela said. <laughs> oh, at the end, right there. Ooh, I wanted to see more. Uh, so they fast forward on this one more, like they fast forward the other like yeah, they roasters. Mm -hmm. So we only had like what, maybe seven or eight mm -hmm. roasters, like the full roast. Mm -hmm. But some of them I don't even know who they are. You know. I don't need that. I'm just anything. I mean, I'm just stuck on Courtney Love. Yeah, that's why you noticed. <laughs> Jeez. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the best roaster on this one, I mean. I don't remember a lot of Jeff Ross's. I mean, he is the roast master, right? Mm -hmm. Roast master general. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But just Lisa Lampanelli stuck out more to me mm -hmm. on this one. The stuff that she said about the Dennis Rodman and uh, Eddie Griffin. <laughs> yeah. Oh my. You know, for his time, I don't know if she be able to say that now. But and then the thing is, I don't know how the edit's going to be with this one, mm -hmm. especially with Pam's see-through shirt as well. Yes. Yeah. Woo. So we'll see in a lot. Yeah. Genitals, <laughs> mentioning genitals in this one. So, I mean, yeah, this was interesting. We'll see, we'll do what we can for the YouTube. Yeah, yeah it was interesting. Yeah, I'm glad we got to see the other, like Tila. Oh, Anna. yeah, they were all in there. Anna! Yeah, it was yeah. nice to see. It was just such a flashback. Yeah, yeah, I thought uh, Jimmy's intro was good too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I don't think I've ever heard him cuss. He's always like clean True. on TV because yeah. that's all I know him from was TV. Yeah, the Jimmy Kimmel. Right. Yeah, that's it. You know, you, you're on regular TV, mm -hmm. so you can't you know, swear. Like I, I know I see him the same way I see Jimmy Fallon, like the clean comedian. Mm -hmm. But this is a different side of Jimmy it is. Kimmel here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we've just finished our second roast here, the roast of Pamela Anderson. Yeah. So we good? Yeah. All right. <laughs> so if you do like our reaction, please like, comment, subscribe. Also, hit the notification bell. And we'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now. Bye. Cheehoo.